uh, you probably don't recognize me. I'm unassuming. It's true. I'm wearing a uniform, so I fear it's familiar, but maybe you can't quite place it. I'm silent as a sunset, but be careful. Because after I pass, I might be left in the dark. I started wearing this uniform a while ago. I wore it indoors, in colorful rooms where the smoky scent of hope filled my nostrils. I wore it outdoors, where street symphonies defeated computer choirs. But it doesn't seem to fit me right anymore. When I first went to the temple, it was great. The devotees were breaking their backs when we saw this, it was very inspiring. They took an interest in me and uh, encouraged me. That was the first time in my life I felt a sense of purpose and belonging. I thought, what a rare and wonderful gift it is to be part of the Hare Krishna movement. Krishna says, out of many thousands of people, only one endeavors for perfection. Out of many thousands. And look at me, I'm endeavoring. Pretty humble, huh? Well, the devotees told me that in order to take the spiritual life, you have to be humble and sincere. Well, I was watching Kant after the Sunday feast about two months at that point. I was doing great. I thought everybody's probably really impressed by how fast I'm becoming a pure devotee. <laughs> I started to feel like I was really part of the temple, you know. I went as often as I could. After a while, though, things changed. I mean, everybody was, everybody was still nice, but... I don't know. Maybe they all thought I was more advanced than I was. I, I think that everybody assumed I was automatically shifting into the next year, but nobody realized that I was driving a stick and my clutch was stuck in first. If anybody else was struggling, they didn't talk about it. Sometimes I'd look around the room and I'm trying to find a face that looked the way I was feeling, but I never did. And when that was Subtle of all killers, familiarity snuck in. The honeymoon is officially over. No one has much time for me as they used to. I still had plenty of questions. But my questions, which were once their poems, became their nuisance. Impatience sprang on the party. Complacency conquered his story. I probably should have brought up my issues rather than waiting around to ask. Well, I guess it's naive, but. I thought my own doubts and fears might affect their faith, and I didn't want that. Plus, it's just embarrassing to feel like the process is working for everyone except me. I thought I'm doing something wrong, it must be. But I didn't know what. And I didn't know how to change it. Remember when, uh, remember when Shul Bhattat said, All right, we've made enough of all this now. It's time to boil them up. Remember when he said that? It's time to boil them up. Unfortunately, sometimes you don't have to get spoiled. It just gets left out until it's spoiled. I started thinking, why am I even doing this? You know, like, am I, what is it? Am I here just for the shot? I only found myself faking it with the gold. I said I was alright when I was confused. I had to fix up when Maya had me real. When the devotees returned from India, they told profound tales of their experiences there and expressed sincere feelings of separation upon leaving. They were trying to keep their thoughts fixed on the dawn. When I got back from India, the only thing I could think was, you know, thank God I'm back from India. <laughs> It was just too much for me. Of course, you know, I couldn't really tell him. Uh, actually, spiritually speaking, I don't think I made any advancement at all in the first few months. I saw other devotees gaze lovingly into these. It looked like they were really seeing Krishna. I always saw statues. I looked at the deities as if I was real and they were stone. Trying to see their eyes or heads move something so that my faith would increase. The reality, of course, is. They are not stone. They are real. And my heart is stone. And look, I know 
And they were going to wear a cheap ticket to think that we go off the floor. I thought over time my heart would soften. But it hasn't. Something else Shiro Prabhupada said was if anybody ever leaves this time, it's 50% their fault and 50% our fault. Whatever. Yeah. 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 When it's devotees, they're good, they are, they're just. Those first few months in the temple bed, you breathe in the love like it was oxygen. It was in the service that they were doing. It was in the way they nurtured me. It was in the way they nurtured me. I'm sure I didn't take enough responsibility for my own spiritual life. I used to be angry about it. But it's really not their fault. You know, I mean, I used to think, I used to think, how can they always talk about love being the most precious of things? And then hoard it away like a sun that keeps its rays and burn out that. I began to feel like the love I felt in the beginning was just a worm. You know, once I got hooked and reeled in, it just got puffed into a bucket. Look, I'm, I'm not angry about it. Okay? I just wish it. You know what? I don't want to make that sense. What can I tell you? On a promise that was made, that it was written on saying, and now the tide is washing it away. They didn't mind that I was taking up space. In fact, they liked that I was there. But it wasn't me they were interested in. They just wanted the space taken. It's understandable. You know, there's a lot of people out there to reach. The only problem is, I'm not a table or a chair. I'm a person. You know? We're always talking about how God is a person. Well, guess what? I'm a person too. Oh, and actually, I do have a name. But I don't think they really wanted to know what it is. You? Yes, that we all know. 
But um, he, uh, he did actually publish one book, which they took off the market right away. It was called John and the Pie Prasad. So I thought you might want to uh, hear it. So I'm going to just read to you from uh, Dr. Seuss's uh, John and the Pie Prasad. Lighten things up a little bit. Don't you think we need to? Okay. John was walking down the street, walking with his favorite feet. Clap, 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 and clap, 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 until John's feet came to a stop. They stopped because, to his surprise, John saw with his very eyes six or so strange-looking guys. And this surprise of guys had pies. <laughs> Krishna's God, they all would sing, and bells they ring, and chimes they chain, and one pumped on some organ thing. Their feet would stomp, their rompers womp, on drums they beat, and folks they greet would get a piece of pie to eat. He thought, what have I come upon? When one of them walked up to John. Chant the names of God with me, chant the names and you will see, that if you chant, your life will be a life of utter ecstasy. With that he jumped, and with his squad, he sang and shouted, Krishna's God! John said, this is very odd, singing, shouting, Krishna's God. The man said, this is not so odd. We follow Srila Prabhupada. <laughs> Prabha who? Prabha what? John felt something in his gut. I want to know what's going on. What's going on, demanded John. Okay, I'll say, explained the man. A godly life's not dry or bland. We sing and jump and dance and shout. And let you know without a doubt that Krishna's God, and that's why, John, we're all out here on center time. <laughs> it seems so nice to sing and dance and wear that thing instead of pants. <laughs> but chant myself the holy names? I can't. I won't, young John exclaimed. I would not like to chant these names, and I do not believe your claims. With that, the singer scratched his head, and looking straight at John, he said, Would you chant them here or there? I will not chant them here or there. I will not chant them anywhere. Would you chant them in a house? Would you chant them with your spouse? I will not chant them in a house. I will not chant them with my spouse. I will not chant them here or there. I will not chant them anywhere. I do not like to chant these names, and I do not believe your claims. <laughs> Would you chant on all these beads? <laughs> Would you plant those bhakti seeds? <laughs> I will not chant them on those beads. I will not plant those bhakti seeds. I will not chant them in a house. I will not chant them with my spouse. I will not chant them here or there. I will not chant them anywhere. I do not like to chant these names, and I do not believe your claims. Hmm. Would you chant it with a clicker? <laughs> Giving up all meat and liquor. I will not chant them with a clicker. I will not give up meat and liquor. I will not chant them on those beads. I will not plant those bumpy seeds. Not in a house, not with my spouse, not here or there, not anywhere. I do not like to chant these names. I do not believe your claims. Would you chant them at an altar every day and never falter? I will not chant them at an altar here in Rome or in Gibraltar. <laughs> I will not chant them with a clicker. I will not give up meat and liquor. I will not chant them on those bees. I will not plant those bumpy seeds. Not in the house, not with my spouse, not here or there, not anywhere. I do not like to chant these names and I do not believe your claims. The man said, you still think it's odd to sing and shout the names of God. These names are not like Rod or Todd. Not, not Rod or Todd are names of God. But since you think that it's so odd, instead, please try some pie for some. <laughs> John looked the man right in the eye and took a great big piece of pie. <laughs> he gooped and gulped and gulped it down. He said, this pie is quite profound. <laughs> it tastes like smiles on a spoon. It tastes like rainbows and balloons. <laughs> I've never had this kind of pie. I think I'll give those names a try. <laughs> John chanted and was overjoyed.
his doubts and disbelief destroyed. I will chant the name, said John. I'll even go and take Darshan. <laughs> I will chant them at the altar every day and never fault them. I will chant them with the clicker. I'll give up all meat and liquor. I will chant the names of bees. I will plant those bucky seeds. I will chant them in my house and I will chant them with my spouse. I will chant them here and there. I will chant them everywhere. Hare Krishna, Hare Ram. I want to go on Hare Nam. <laughs> I don't think it's very odd to sing and shout the names of God. With that, John thanked his newest friend, who truly taught him to transcend. And just before he waved goodbye, they gave him one more piece of pie. John danced his way right down the street with clapping, flopping, and bopping feet. To passersby, he'd smile and nod and tell them all that Krishna is God. Yeah.